Hello everyone and welcome to Roja's Language YouTube channel. My name is Roya and you're watching our general English course level A2. In this course, I teach the textbook American English File 1, 3rd edition. Please don't hesitate to subscribe to our channel now so that you'll get the future videos of this course and boost your language skills. Let's get started! Okay, my friends, so we will start our lesson with an overview from Unit 5A, Vote for Me. And we have different sections today, vocabulary section about verb phrases, a grammar section about the structure can or can't. You will learn how to talk about your abilities, possibilities, and also permission. We have a pronunciation section where we focus on sentence stress and the skills we focus on today are listening and speaking. Now I have a question for you. What do you say beginning with can if you want a photocopy? What do you say? Can you tell me the question? What do you say, beginning with can, if you're in a cafe and you want a Coke? What if you want another person to sign something? And finally, what if you want another person to open the window? So. These are the questions we ask in these situations. You say, can I have a photocopy, please? Can I have a Coke, please? Can you sign this, please? Can you open the window, please? And remember, we often use can I have to ask for something and can you to ask another person to do something. Section 1, Vocabulary. Please open your books, your textbooks, American English File 1, and go to page 30A for Unit 5A, Vote for Me. In the first section, Vocabulary, we have verb phrases. Please look at part A. Can you remember these verb phrases for things people do in their free time? You need to match the words. You can see the blue words, which are verbs, on the left side, and the green words on the right, which are nouns. So you have to match the verbs and nouns to make verb phrases. Please do it now. Let's look at the verb phrases together. We have go to the gym, play the guitar, do yoga, watch TV, have a coffee, and listen to music. You should remember these from the previous sessions and also the previous lessons. So now please go to page 158 to the vocabulary bank for more verb phrases. So on this page, we will learn more verb phrases. You see that um, we have some verbs in the list in part A, and also some pictures with the nouns or more phrases with prepositions and so on. So uh, you need to match the verbs and the photos and make verb phrases. Please do this in three to four minutes. When you're done, you can listen to track 5.1 and check your answers. Or you can simply look at my screen and we will check them together. Remember that it is more useful to remember complete phrases. For example, if you try to remember a phrase like need a friend instead of just the verb meet, 
it's more useful for you. It's more practical for you because you can use it whenever you need it. And I also need to tell you something about the two verbs forget and leave. So forget and leave are usually confused because they are very similar. Forget means um, something, there is something that you didn't, for example, bring with you. So when you say, I forgot my book or I forgot my bag, my bag you're um, saying that you forgot to bring it with you. You didn't bring your bag or your book with you. But leave is a verb we use to say the place where we left something, but not with forget. So, for example, I say, don't leave your bag in the class. It means don't put it there and forget to bring it with you. So you leave something somewhere. For example, I left my book at home or I left my bag at home. It means I put it there and I forgot to bring it with me. This is the difference between the two verbs. Remember not to confuse them. Now let's check the phrases. Number three, buy a newspaper. Number two, call a taxi. One, dance the tango. 24, draw a picture. Seven, find a parking space. Eight, forget somebody's name. 11, give somebody flowers. 14, hear a noise. 16, help somebody. 6, leave your bag on a train. 19, look for your keys. 20, meet a friend. 21, paint a picture. 9, remember somebody's name. 23, run a race. 25, see a movie. 18, send the text message. 13, sing a song. 4, swim in the ocean. 15, take a photo. 12, talk to a friend. 10, tell somebody a secret. 5, Try to do something difficult. 17. Use the internet. 22. Wait for a bus. To improve your pronunciation, you can listen to me or track 5.1 again and repeat each phrase out loud. Section 2. Listening. So on page 38, the listening section, you can see some pictures and what is happening in a picture story. And we also have some questions related to each part or each picture. But before we start, this section is about TV singing competition. Do you have TV competitions for people who do things well in your country? Competitions like dancing competition, singing competition, or cooking. And TV competition is like a program on TV uh, that shows these competitions where people compete with each other to do something. I can give you the name of a few programs in America like American Idol or America's Got Talent. So, do you watch these programs? Why or why not? Before we start, let's look at a word, audition. We're going to use this word in our picture story here, so it's important to know the meaning. Audition is a noun. And it is a short performance by an actor, a singer, etc., so that somebody can decide if they're suitable to be in a play, a concert, etc. 
So if you're a singer, for example, you sing a short part of a song for your audition to show the judges that you can sing well. Now in our picture story, we have Amy who goes to an audition for a TV singing competition. Look at the pictures, then listen and answer questions one to nine. Please pause this video, listen to track 5.2 and answer questions one to nine, and then we will look at the answers together. Let's che check the answers now. The first question says, what does Amy need to go into the conference center? She needs ID. Number two, what does she show the man? Her passport. Number three, where does Amy's friend Wade? She waits with Amy. Number four, how many people does the woman call? She calls three people. Number five, what does Amy's friend say to her before she goes to the audition? She says, good luck, Amy, you can do it. Number six, what does Amy do with her bag? She leaves it. Number seven, what's Amy's song? It's One Day, that's the name of the song. Number eight, what's her problem with the microphone? The microphone isn't on. Number nine, what does Amy say when they ask her to start her song? She says, oh no, I can't remember the first line. On this slide, we simply look at a script for track 5.2 to make sure you understand everything. So we have A for Amy, G for guard, O for organizer, F for friend, and J for judge. Let's start. 12.30, that's the time, in a long line outside the conference center in Portland. So a long line, what is a line? A line is a group of people arranged in a row. So they stand there uh, waiting for something. For example, waiting for their turn to get in. The guard says, remember, you need ID. You can't come in if you don't have ID. ID is an abbreviation for identification. So your ID can be an ID card, or your passport. Here is my passport, Amy says. Thanks, Amy Jones. Yep, that's you. Okay, come in. Next, please. 1245, in the waiting area with 350 other singers. Okay, Amy, sit here and wait until we call your name. Thanks. Are you here for the audition too? No, I'm not. I'm Amy's friend. Can I wait with her? Yeah, sure. Thanks. Let's sit here. I'm so nervous. Mike Smith, Pat Jones, Tony Cash. Come with me this way. Good luck. Four o'clock. Three hours later. My turn at last. So my turn, it means it is time for me to go in, to go for my audition. It's my turn. Amy Jones, Naomi, Naomi Williams, Justin Elliott, can you come with me, please? It's your turn now. Oh, my goodness. It's my turn. Oh, my goodness means, oh, my God. Um, she says that to express her anxiety, that she feels nervous. Good luck, Amy. You can do it. Excuse me. Can my friend come with me? No, she can't. She can wait here. She can wait there. And you can't take your bag into the audition. Leave it with your friend. So here we have the word leave. 
Do you remember the difference between leave and forget? So you don't say forget your bag with your friend. You say leave your bag with your friend. It means give it to her and then go in. Okay, 4.15 in the audition with three judges. Judges are the people who listen to you singing and then decide if you're a good singer or not. Really nervous. Amy Jones, what's your song? One day. We can't hear you. Is the microphone on? Sorry, sorry, can you hear me now? Yes, that's fine. My song's one day. Can you start, please? Oh no, I can't remember the first line. Take your time. Take your time means it's okay. Relax. Don't worry. You can use the time to feel more relaxed and relieve your stress and feel comfortable and then start to sing. I'm okay now. So for the next part, you're going to listen to track 5.3 and you're going to hear Amy and the other two contestants, Justin and Naomi, sing. You will then vote to see which one of the three you want to win a place in the show. So please pause this video and listen and then decide who you like. Now vote for your favorite. You can now listen to track 5.4 to what the judges say. Do they agree with you? And how does Amy feel? So the judges think Amy is very good. Justin is terrible. He can't sing. And Naomi has a good voice but doesn't have feeling. They want to see Amy on the show next week and Amy feels very happy. Now here we look at a script. <laughs> I'm sorry. Justin, Naomi, Amy, come and start, come and stand here. Okay, Amy, very nervous at the beginning, but in the end, very good. Yes, a great performance. Well done. Justin, in a word, terrible. Justin, I'm sorry. You're good looking. You move well, but you can't sing. Naomi, ah, you're okay. You have a nice voice. Naomi, you have a good voice, but I can't hear the feeling. Okay, Justin and Naomi, thank you very much. But no, thank you. Amy, congratulations. See you on the show next week. Fantastic. That's great. Thank you. Section 3, Grammar. Please look at page 39 for can or can't structure. And look at part A. Four can or can sentences, one to four, from Amy's story. You need to match them to their meanings, A to D. Please do this in one minute. So, let's check the answers. Number one, you can't sing. The answer or the meaning for that would be D. You don't know how. So when you tell someone you can't sing, it means you don't know how to sing. Number two, you can't come in if you don't have ID. You can't come in if you don't have ID. And that means A, it isn't okay. You can't come in means it isn't okay for you to come in if you don't have ID. Number three, can you come with me, please? Number three's meaning is C, please do it. 
So when you say, can you come or can you do that? It means please do it. And number four, she can wait there means it's possible. It means it is possible for her to wait there. So now let's go to page 132, the grammar bank 5A, and focus on the structure of can or can't. So I'm going to explain the explanations or the notes here we have in the blue box or in the blue side. We have four examples and we also have notes for these examples. So for example, when I read example number one, I will talk about the note number one, which is related to that example. Number one, I can sing, but I can't dance. Remember that can is used with the base form of a verb. So for example, I can sing, or I can sing. You see, sing is in its basic form. There is no S, there's no ED, no ING, nothing. Or I can't dance. Also, the negative form is the same. After can or can't, we use the base form. And it can have different meanings. So in example one, you say, I can sing. It means I know how to sing. Or I can't dance means I don't know how to dance. But let's look at example number two. I can come on Tuesday, but I can't come on Wednesday. Here, I can come means it's possible for me. I can come means it's not possible for me. So here in example number two, we're talking about possibility. Number three, you can park here. You can't park there. You can park here means it's okay to park here. It's permitted. You can't park here means it's not okay or it's not permitted. So in this example, example number three, we're talking about permission. And example four, can you help me? Can I open the window? Can you help me? Means please do it. And can I open the window? Means is it okay if I do it? So when you say, can you help me, you want someone to do something. But if you say, can I, if can comes with I, you're asking if it is okay to do something. On the right side, we have two blue boxes with the positive, negative, and question forms of can used in sentences. <coughs> Sorry again. So in the affirmative form, for example, I can swim, you can swim, he can swim, she can swim, it can swim, we can swim, they can swim or come or help. So as you see, it is the same for all structures, can plus base form. And also for the negative form, it is again the same. So we have can't and again the base form. For questions, we put can at the beginning of the question and then the pronoun and then the verb, the base form of the verb. And for short positive answer, yes, I can, for example. And no, for the negative sentence, no, I can't. All right. So as you see, can or can't doesn't change for different pronouns. Are all the same for all persons. And the contracted form of cannot is actually can't. So can't is a contraction. It means cannot. And pay attention to the spelling. Um, you have to write it as one word, cannot. They are not two separate words. And we don't use to after can. Some students make this mistake. You cannot say I can to swim. No, 
I can swim. Great. So now that you learned the structure, please look at page 133, 5a, and start with exercise A and complete the sentences with can or can't and the verbs in the parentheses. Please do this in three minutes. Let's check the answers. Number one, or maybe I start with the example. I'm sorry, I can't remember your name. Number one, my girlfriend can speak French, but not Spanish. Number two, can you help me? This box is very heavy. Number three, I can't see you tonight. I have a lot of homework. Number four, can you close can I close the window? It's cold in here. Number five. Can you repeat your email address, please? Number six. It says no parking. We can't park here. Number seven. Andy doesn't want to go to the beach. He can't swim. Number eight. Can I use your phone? I want to call my parents. So now please go for part B. Rewrite the sentences using the correct form of can or can't. So let's check. I know how to play the piano. I can play the piano. The sentences have the same meaning, but the second one is made with can. Number one, it's possible for her to meet me after work. So the answer is, she can meet me after work. Number two, please open the window. Can you open the door, please? Sorry, please open the door. Can you open the door, please? Number three, my boyfriend doesn't know how to ski. My boyfriend can't ski. Number four, is it okay if I use your car. Can I use your car? And number five, it's not permitted to take photos here. You can't take photos here. Section four, pronunciation. Look at page 39, the pronunciation section about sentence stress. So here we're going to focus on can and can't. And the important thing is that two main pronunciation problems with can or can't are as follows. So can is unstressed. So in positive sentences, for example, we don't pronounce it like can. You, you don't say I can sing. That's wrong. It should be unstressed. So Instead of saying can, you should say can. So you say, I can sing. I can sing. Again, I can sing. On the other hand, can't in its negative form is always stress. So here you should say, I can't sing. Remember, if you confuse the two different pronunciations, for example, if you say the positive sentence with a stress, then it is heard like a negative sentence. So if you say, for example, I can sing with the wrong stress and the wrong pronunciation, the other person may think you are not able to sing because they may hear that you say, I can't sing. Now, please look at part A. We have some conversations here on the book. You should listen and repeat and copy the rhythm. You can listen to track 5.6 or just listen to me and repeat. Part one, can you play a musical instrument? Yes, I can. What can you play? 
I can play the guitar. Okay, so in this part, B says, yes, I can. As you see, in this short positive answer, can is stressed. That's the only place we stress can when it is in a short positive answer. Number two, where can I sit? You can sit over there. Number three, can I park here? No, you can't. You can't park here. So, in a yes no question, <laughs> like the question in part three, again you see that the word can is unstressed. So, you say, can I park here? Can I park here? Nice. Now, please look at part B. This time, listen to track 5.7 and hear the difference between A and B. Okay, so when you're done, you can listen to track 5.8 this time and circle the sentence you hear. A or B. Okay, so let's look at the answers now. In part one, we have two sentences. I'm going to read both of them for you. A, I can sing. B, I can't sing. And you hear B, I can't sing. Number two, A, she can dance very well. B, she can't dance very well. And you hear A, she can dance very well. Three, A, he can cook. B, he can't cook. And you hear A, he can cook. Four, A, I can come to the meeting. B, I can't come to the meeting. And you hear B, I can't come to the meeting. Number five, A, you can park here. B, you can't park here. And you hear B, you can't park here. Number six, A, I can drive. B, I can't drive. And you hear A, I can drive. I can also show you the script here. I can't sing. You can repeat them again. Repeat them aloud. She can dance very well. He can cook. I can't come to the meeting. You can't park here. I can drive. Section five, speaking. So on page 39, we're gonna start with the speaking skill. And we're gonna talk about talents. You're gonna find out about your talent. But before we start, let's look at a few new words. Maybe you're not familiar with these words. Talent. Talent. Please also don't forget to repeat the words. A natural ability to do something very well. So you can have a talent. For example, you can sing very well. The adjective form for this noun would be talented. So you can say, I'm a talented singer. Then we have the word instrument. Instrument. That's a noun and it's an object such as a piano, the guitar, etc. that is played to produce musical sounds. Half marathon, half marathon. It's also a noun and it means a running race over a distance of about 21 kilometers. 
poem. Poem. It's a noun and it's a piece of writing in which words are arranged ending in rhyme and suggest ideas. Lyrics. Lyrics. It's also a noun and it's the words of a song. Individual sport. It's the opposite of team sport. Again, individual sport, team sport. And it refers to the sport that you do on your own without a team. Now, we're going to do the interview. We need to work in pairs, interview each other with the questioner. So one person asks the question with, can you? For example, if we look at a music section and the first verb sing, the person who asks the question should ask, can you sing? Then the other person says, yes, I can, or no, I can't. If they say, yes, I can, then the other question is, how well? And the person who asks the question can write number one, which is not very well, two, well, and three, which means very well. Let's look at a questioner now. What's your talent? Are you musical, artistic, sporty, or good with words? Would you like to apply for one of our shows? I will interview you first. So I will ask each question and wait for you to answer me. But remember, I will ask how well anyway, because I don't know if your answer would be yes or no. So if your answer is no, then just ignore my second question. Let's start. Can you sing how well? Can you play an instrument? How well? Can you dance? How well? Can you read or write music? How well? Let's go for art. Can you take artistic photos? How well? Can you draw cartoons? How well? Can you paint pictures? How well? Can you design websites or logos? How well? Let's go for sports. Can you run a half marathon? How well? Can you play a team sport? How well? Can you do a winter or water sport? How well? Can you do an individual sport? How well? And finally, let's go for words. Can you write short stories? How well? Can you write poems or song lyrics? How well? Can you speak foreign languages? How well? Can you speak in public? How well? All right. Now for this part, you ask the questions and mark my answers. I will wait for you to ask the first question. So for example, I say, let's start with music. And then I say, sing. You have to ask me the first question when I wait for you. So you say, can you sing? And then I answer with, yes, I can or no, I can't. If I say, yes, I can, you should ask me how well. And based on what I answer, please write number one, two or three next to each phrase. Let's start with music now. Sing. No, I can't. Play an instrument. Yes, I can. 
not very well. Dance. <laughs> yes, I can. Well, read or write music. No, I can't. Let's go for art. Take artistic photos. Yes, I can. Well, draw cartoons. No, I can't. Paint pictures. Yes, I can. Well, design websites or logos. No, I can't. Let's go for sports. Run a half marathon. No, I can't. Play a team sport. Yes, I can. Well, do a winter or water sport. Yes, I can. Very well. Do an individual sport. Yes, I can. Very well. Let's go for words. Write short stories. Yes, I can. Well, write poems or song lyrics. No, I can't. Speak foreign languages. Yes, I can. Very well. Speak in public. Yes, I can. Very well. Okay, so based on the marks you gave me, what is my talent? What competitions or TV shows can I enter? Thank you so much for learning with me today. If the video was useful for you, give it a thumbs up. And please join us on Instagram, TikTok, and Telegram, where you can get more points and exercises related to the course. I hope you have a wonderful day, and I'll see you in the next video.